and welcome to the program. I'm Amy Alia, an actress here in Korea, but I have a more important job today because we are meeting some of the best and brightest foreigners here in Korea in startup industry. So I'm very excited to get to know them today. I'm sure you are as well. Welcome to the show, guys. Yay! <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've actually been in Korea for over 10 years. I'm sure we all have differing levels of experience with Korean culture, so we're going to discuss a little bit about that today. But I think to start off, it would be great if everyone could introduce themselves and tell us about your business. Uh, my name is Kay, co-founder and CEO of Oma Technologies from Dallas, Texas. Uh, we've built the world's first permanent magnet-based precision tracking system. I know that's a mouthful, but what that essentially means is that we're able to track very tiny sensors with a very high precision, uh, its position and orientation. Um, so right now we're focused on a surgical tool tracking uh, inside human body while doing operations, um, but we're hoping to expand that uh, technology into other application areas, and we're hoping to find uh, such opportunities in, in Korea. Uh, I'm Wei I'm the co-founder and CEO of a company called Vecnology. Uh, we're based out of Malaysia. What we basically do is we build smart vending machines that are equipped with IoT, SaaS cloud solutions, and in analytical applications. Um, well, we all have seen big old vending machines around the world, and they are not really connected to the cloud, or the brands using the vending machines cannot get end user customer data insights. So uh, we're reinventing the future of uh, retail, smart retailing systems by introducing world first uh, smart vending machines in um, Asia Pacific region. With the KSCC program, we found um, a lot of uh, business opportunities in Korea, and we've signed partnerships with m many brands. And um, yeah, I mean, we're we're ready to rock and roll in Korea. Uh, if you want to know more about my company, uh, better go check out our uh, LinkedIn page. I'm Mathieu Charrier from uh, from Paris, France. So I'm a member of the board of Regal Access, uh, which is a, a biotech company. We're developing new biological entities. So we patented like 86,000 peptides. And uh, the first lead candidate is just simply creating an entire uh, therapeutic class called disease modifying osteoarthritis drugs. And this is going to completely disrupt and enhance the quality of life of more than half a million Korean citizens. My name is Trevor Owens. I am the CEO of Rocketship, and we are an online education platform. Um, due to COVID-19 and the global recession, uh, m most global companies are now actually accelerating the rate of job automation. And so there are millions, actually tens of millions of people who now need to reskill over the next five years. And what our company does is we actually connect multinational companies who are hiring for these new and growing careers with the best teachers online so that in one place you can go and you can learn a new skill and also get placed into a new job. And so we call it the Career Accelerator model. And uh, our website is on rocketship.com. And if you are looking to join an exciting startup, we are hiring. So come find us. <laughs> Investors are welcome to. <laughs> well, that's just the right word. Thank you, Matthew. My name is Claudia, and I'm the head of business development at HeartForce. We are in the early detection of heart disease uh, with a device which uh, is the first uh, in the market for self-screening anytime, anywhere. And we are about to enter the Korean market. As we all know, Koreans live a very stressful lifestyle and heart disease, it will happen to one in five of you. Okay, so the great thing is all of these people joining me here today are actually winners from the KSGC program. So maybe we can learn a little bit more about the program first. Could you explain? Uh, yeah, um, so KSGC, uh, Korea Startup Grand Challenge, is a essentially a international startup uh, competition hosted by Korea's National IT Promotion Agency. Um, so we started, I think, somewhere around 2,600 companies that applied. Uh, 55 of us got the chance to come to Korea and do the three months acceleration. Um, and that during those three months acceleration, you are essentially given the support from the government agencies as, as well as uh, the accelerating the investors and VCs uh, that help you essentially uh, prove out your business models in Korea. Um, so if you do that, then you can essentially use Korea as the uh, springboard to enter the greater Asian market or even uh, the greater uh, global market. 
um, can't get bigger than that. So I was, I don't know what I was <laughs> thinking. Um, um, so yeah, uh, and luckily, uh, five of us, we are the, the top five winners. And uh, uh, given a chance, obviously, to come back for the second acceleration, um, so even more opportunities um, and even, even more resources uh, coming our ways, essentially. This sounds suspiciously similar to a Korean drama that's really hot right now. I'm sure you've heard of it. Startup. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. So you guys have watched it? Yeah, of course. You've been following it? Yeah, yeah. How similar is that to your actual experience? Well, I just don't have a drama. <laughs> <laughs> it is it's a television show so it's obviously more dramatized but maybe you have some kind of moment that you remember from your actual experience like it was definitely one of my best moments so uh, one of the uh, one of the co-inventors of the regular access patent uh, accepted to join the program and so came here. He's a handsome Italian guy, super intelligent. And so he has a famous like handmade Italian shirt that like he likes a lot. And so for the first um, meeting with French Tech here, so we went to a Korean barbecue. And so we started to place the meat on like uh, on the barbecue plate, and so at the end we sh we ended up with poor intestine that started to pop up like everywhere in the room, and so like uh, Raffaello was like super careful about this shirt. He's like he loves this shirt, and I know that. So he ended up like three meters away from the table with his chopsticks, like using them as a baseball bat to kick whatever was popping out of the barbecue. And that was definitely one of my favorite moments here during the program. <laughs> <laughs> that brings up a good point, though, about doing business in Korea. You're often going out for meals and entertaining with potential clients. or Which investors. is not a problem for French and, co and Italian people <laughs> at all. That's our favorite part of the business. Some restaurants here, they give you an apron, yeah. right, to protect your shirt. Ah, but I guess they didn't okay. have an apron for him. Uh, that's what you should get them as a gift next Rafael, time. Raffaello, next time. He's capable of that. I think when it comes to doing business, Asia is really the future. If you look within a five-hour flight of Hong Kong, more than half of the world's population lives within a five-hour flight of Hong Kong. And so over four billion people uh, in the future, in these growing economies, are going to be where you want to be if you're starting a business. And I think Korea is among the best places to use as a gateway, not only because of the, the, the values here in terms of the international uh, economy uh, values, but also because of the talent. The, the talent in Korea, some of the best technical talent, it's becoming the R&D hub of the world. And so being in Korea is a great place if you want to access the future potential of Asia. Um, well, I mean, Korea is probably the, the safest spot in the world um, right now, and uh, we're, we're very glad to be here. Um, but when, when I found out about this program and about Korea, uh, we did a market research. It was about 14 to 16 pages long, and uh, we did very primary, secondary market researchers. And, and it shows that you know in Korea, there are a lot of uh, competitors out there. I mean, I'm sure even if you have an idea and you want to come into Korean market, it's going to be super hot. But the thing is, as our friends uh, here said, you know, the talent here is pretty good. And uh, they are very open for innovations. And the country is already on the verge of um, very good, uh, high advanced technology. So um, I mean, you just need you just need to know how to utilize them and think about a very good business model and find a very good Korean partner so that maybe you can you can enter and you can penetrate into the market faster. So we actually have a surprise for our winners here of the KSGC program. Congratulations! <laughs> Yes, the, uh, these are the five winners of the KSGC program. So maybe you guys can also tell us what your plans are for the future. Um, so, so yeah, I, so part of the program uh, that encouraged us, what, what they encouraged us to do was to as actually establish a Korean uh, company in Korea, uh, which will essentially help us uh, connect with you know government agencies, work with the uh, local corporations uh, easier than if we were just working with say you know we're from the United States, 
you know, the, the time difference and all of that is a little more difficult. So we've established, established the local corporation. We're planning to hire some R&D talent here, uh, run an R&D center, uh, maybe use it as a uh, um, further incubation ground for some of the new technologies that we're developing. Um, so some of the uh, natural sciences, people who've studied that, uh, those are our main uh, priority uh, talent hires. Um, and then after that, it's all about finding those uh, strategic partners um, in many application areas. I mentioned uh, healthcare, surgical areas, but there's also, you know, simulations and, uh, you know, uh, trainings of all kinds. Uh, so just got to be on the lookout for those opportunities. During the past uh, two and a half months, um, we have uh, established a local corporation here and um, I have hired one local talent already. And um, last month, we, we secured um, seed funding for a Korean entity from Myanmar. Um, so um, I, I can say that technology in Korea, like the ground of technology in Korea is pretty firm. And um, we, 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 just started to, we just started to work out a lot of uh, POCs projects with Lotte. And uh, the discussions are going on in very details in, in I mean, it just happened last week and it's going to happen in the coming weeks as well. Um, we're, our, our plan for the next six months to a year is to secure at least uh, five to ten uh, POCs with big brands in Korea so that we can start deploying the vending machines out there. And um, I will be, I'll be forming, I'll be uh, uh, building a team of 12 uh, in 2021. And after Korea, we're not just stopping by. Uh, we are, we're also entering the Vietnam market and we're also looking at um, uh, Middle Eastern market and uh, looking for partners. Yeah. Sounds like more cakes are coming your way then. More cakes. <laughs> <laughs> Future cakes are uh, flying cake at you. Cake vending machine. Right. Let's talk to Paris Baguette. Uh. <laughs> but it sounds like there's a lot of opportunities and another part of the KSGC program is the follow-up support program, which allows for a further three and a half months <coughs> of support. So one last final thing I want to ask from you guys is to maybe give one tip, very concise, for anyone looking to enter the KSGC program. If you have like one piece of advice that you want to give. Well, the one piece I would say, don't be afraid of language barriers. There are so many kind and nice people supporting you along the way. I would say be humble and give it your all. Like this is a great opportunity. It's a priceless opportunity. If you make the most of it, then you have a lot of opportunities. Well, uh, I invested again in the company in August, and uh, I'm like convincing them to attend next year. Uh, so I will not be back personally, but uh, I already gave them some advice. Like, uh, don't underestimate that three months and a half. It seems a long period, but like to establish a company, like. Signed firm deals here, it's super short and super intense. So, like as as soon as you know that you are selected, start to contact the people. Let them be aware that you're coming in and you're coming in strong, and that's the way you can rock the place. Um, I guess I'll kind of <coughs> add on to what what Matthew was saying. You know, um, like. I think you gotta plan it earlier and look for opportunities not just in like a you know corporations but also you know the government agencies and things like that because the government the Korean government is basically all in on supporting startup uh, ecosystem. Um, I mean you can see just that you know they don't really ask of us anything other than just work hard and they give us three months of stipends as well as you know if you do well these uh, um, the winnings right. Uh, how do you say it? Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Champions? Well, you know, prize we get prize yeah, the prize money. Prize money. Uh, you get prize money uh, that can, uh, that will help you set up your entities in Korea and go even further. Um, and if you do plan it earlier, because Korea has done well to sort of guard itself against the co whole COVID situations, um, if you put in the effort, it could make the difference of, hey, just doing just, you know, uh, some random conference call and having a face-to-face -face with an investor. Like in our case, uh, because we planned earlier, we were able to talk to investors face-to-face, -face, obviously <coughs> keeping the, the safety regulations in mind. And I think that made a lot of difference in the end. Yeah. yeah. Great. 
Well, you heard it here from the winners themselves. That was excellent pieces of advice, and I think this is more interesting than the drama startup, actually. We should start a reality show with you guys. I think potential reality show stars on top of being superstar CEOs. <laughs> <laughs> bring, bring, that, bring that to the founder, guys. <laughs> exactly. Maybe on the next episode. Yeah, so. <laughs> but I really do want to thank each and every one of you for coming and sharing your wisdom and your time and I wish you the best of luck in the future. So that's going to bring the show to a close for today. I want to thank everyone for watching. Make sure you join us next time on Meetup where we support all the development of startups here in Korea.